In this video, I'm gonna tell you the whole journey on the way to our trip to Oman. So why do people climb the mountain? People climb mountains for various reasons, including personal challenge, physical fitness, the sense of accomplishment, connection with the nature, a spiritual reason, and the desire to explore new environment. Some climbers are also motivated by the adrenaline rush and the opportunity to push their limits. Additionally, climbing can provide a break from the routine of daily life and offer a unique perspective from the summit. The second tallest mountain in the whole GCC. That is the highest summit of Jebel Shams. 3,000. 3,009 meters. 3,009. show what is the whole uh, situation we had on this trip overheat bro overheating overheating how we sort out the situation overheating by How we managed to resolve it, we didn't expect that this uh, could be happen in our journey to Oman. This is uh, unlimited. Oh fuck! Unlimited. It's also about the side trip that we did on the last day on our trip when we're heading back to Dubai.
and all of a sudden we discover it's maybe it's a hidden gems in Oman because we didn't search about this place. We finally reached on the destination and this is uh, maybe like a sort of resort. Pitoy asked the group to visit the old village, how the Omani used to live their life for the modern uh, way of living in Oman. Let's go! So during this uh, time, we just decided to enter one of the village uh, called Wadigul and we were just following uh, Pitoy uh, since he was the one who was leading the direction and we didn't realize that that road that we're taking is like a road it will lead us to the place called uh, uh, Tipi. Don papunta. Oh, tara. Kali wale. So what's the situation now? Bye. What's the plannings? We'll go to Old Town. Old Town, where? Kitere. Huh? Aeroplano daw. <laughs> so, what's the trippings? <laughs> this is Wadi Wadi Gul. Wadi Gul. Wadi Gul. And where are we going now? Where are we it's going funny now? because everyone uh, is curious where are we going, what is this road leading to us. Canyon, tara! 5 kilometer. Let's get it on! We didn't expect that this road is a little bit uh, sketchy when heading towards the TP. Although it's uh, having a very nice uh, landscape and the mountain, the formation of the rocks on each side is very like a unique uh, mountain because it's just like a straight line of mountain. It's good for rappelling, it's good for the people who is doing uh, rock climbing and uh, when you're heading up to that direction, to that TP resort, the end of the road uh, you will able to see uh, the Grand Canyon uh, both side so it's a uh, very uh, amazing uh, views and the mountains and we didn't expect that this place is having a wonderful uh, landscape Just, 
What's going on? How are you guys? Okay. Firing. 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 <laughs> so, how's my new driver? Yeah, firing. <laughs> <laughs> Basically, at the moment, we are almost reaching to the place called Tipi. So the Wadi Gol is actually a well-known place in the Oman. There is a village you can see from the road before you enter this uh, area. It's called the uh, Gold Village and it's actually an abandoned village where there's no more people living at the moment and uh, the Grand Canyon of Arabia is actually that mountain that you can see towards the direction of Tipi. The lime green fields in the foreground contrast with the camouflage as you can see in both sides. The grey color of ruined houses. The village is just before the Jebel Shams roads begin and sent and the carpet still marks the spot. So you will see the uh, a little bit like a bungalow on the road which are selling uh, carpets and that's the landmarks that you are in the, the spot where it leads you to the location which we are driving right now. It's, it's possible to drive into the Wadigo, a popular local picnic spot um, is there for around like 7 kilometers uh, of drive to enjoy the pool water that collects from above. The road terminates in the village, which is the tipi at the moment, with the views of the towering canyon cliff above. So this place is also a popular place for hiking, if you are into hiking. So tipi is an, a company who organize a adventure trip if you want to go or some places which is not that very like uh, popular if you search it in the Google because even this place that we're heading it's a kind of like a hidden gems in Oman because uh, we didn't able to find it in the Google map at the end of the road there is a resort which is some, not uh, very caravans. like commercialized because you can see that it's not a uh, well-maintained place and there's no even like tourists around <laughs> only us uh, during that time we 
finally reached on the destination. Trippy, maybe like a sort of resort. Everyone is chilling now. Firing with the boat firing here. With boat firing. <laughs> and uh, we have a tent here. This is what you call trippy. It's just the nature took us all of a sudden here because the nature knows that every one of this group is a nature lover. So that's why all of a sudden <laughs> we came out here. <laughs> trippy. They have a camp here, camping tents. Got some hammocks. Amazing. It is just not that much established because you can see there's no proper maintenance. They do have a cookware here. So what's the situation here? Pede? Tresora. So let's go. So we're entering this trippy resort. So we are in the trippy resort right now. just all made by hand I think it's made by clay as you can see the textures of the wall yeah it's just handmade what's the situation here These are the room. Wow. Amazing. There is mango tree there. Resort, yeah. They have papaya here. Papaya, papaya. <coughs> wash beans as a mango. This is mango and this is manga. Mango and manga. Behind of that village, there is a hidden place called uh, Trippy. It's a uh, Trippy that uh, I think uh, this is a company who arrange uh, like if there is a tourist wants to uh, go for like uh, off the grid uh, camping because it's uh, it's a very hidden place and it's very the amazing like the the rocks the mountain nice, the nice place. like the canyon around very nice place and it's just like a one way direction heading up to the place uh, of this uh, place called trippy and uh, it's an amazing place because it's not very like a popular place it's it's not very commercialized uh, area amazing resort Swanabakan Resort. The day before uh, our trip, I went to uh, Dubai Hills. The base hardware here. Let me check in the outdoor equipment. I think I need some stuff from this area. Like this one. Compact mosquito net. I know that on Oman it's more colder temperature 
compared to the UAA because uh, I was struggling on the last uh, trip we had in um, uh, Latiba that I was suffering for cold because I didn't have the proper sleeping bag and uh, inflatable air that I supposed to uh, put it uh, on the back of my backside because you know like sleeping in the hammock without the without the tent it's uh it's a very like uh complicated uh you know setup of doing uh camping because everyone they are used of like setting up their their tents because you know you have your shelter especially if there is like uh you know moisture from the weather so i decided to visit uh, like Decathlon to find the proper jacket so I finally found the Decathlon I think they're having like a 30% 70% off so we'll see what we can get and um, because of the you know the lesson that I have from the previous that they said that I have to uh, bring the proper like sleeping bags so uh, right now I decided to drive to Ibn Batuta to see what we got in their other branch in Decathlon. So we got a variety of tents here like this for a little bit heavy. I think this is the one that I need. This is maybe like half kg for this. Which one? Ah, heavy. <laughs> Not for hiking. No, no, I'm looking for hiking, not for camping. <laughs> I need lightweight. So mostly it's uh, heavy. Like this, this is maybe like 3 to 5 kg, I think. <laughs> hey guys, uh, this time we'll be heading to uh, Oman and yes. Jabal Shams with the firing crew. Firing! Yes. Introduce yourself, guys. Firing balut. Firing balut. Firing shape. Firing shape. Firing ini. So we set up a place. Uh, all of us, uh, four cars that we had to meet up in uh, Adnok Station. It's the last station of UAA before we enter the border. Al Ain border, heading up to Oman. So. Um, before that, we sort out our visa online. Have to make sure that everyone uh, will gonna join in this uh, trip. That it's sure that all of us will able to enter the Oman because sometimes uh, you know the o Oman border they are a bit uh, complicated when uh, accepting the tourists uh, from UAE uh, in terms of your position in the visa. Here, what's up, Ate? Pakita dere. Lot. Ah, immigration. Immigration, passport, and visa. So in this area, we have to present our visa and passport to be able to exit from UAA border. Thank you, madam. Thank you. Passport. So UAA border, you have to pay 121 AED for you to exit from the border. And uh, we'll see how much we're gonna pay to the border again so from this place we have to get our car insurance arranging their insurance Digital insurance. But anyway, we get our car insurance uh, through the machine. There's a price in here. 
OMR? 12. 12. So, 120. Oh, 120. So, this is the car insurance. Valid for how many? Five days. Days. Puro pala tayo, June. Talaga? Saan dami natin magsa-celebrate? Ako, June. Ako, June ako eh. Araw ng kamatay. Car insurance is 125 dirhams. Five days. For five days. How much in Omani? It's 12.588 Omani um, Real. After um, doing that uh, machine uh, processing, we have to come in this counter and you get, you'll give the policy number and I think the person in charge will gonna print the documents. And one by one, we have to input uh, our details, especially if you are driving with someone else with your car. So you have to uh, include that person who will gonna drive your car heading up to Oman. So after you will get that car insurance things, you will have to enter this uh, like a gate. Before you come here, you have to secure your car insurance. Uh, you have to make sure that if something happened uh, when that person is driving, that person should be included in the insurance when you are getting the Oman insurance. So we have to go down here again for the passport immigration. The last checkpoint after checking all the baggage. And we were able to finally get out from this border. So this will be the first gas station after the exit of the Mount border. And this is more cheaper actually. We'll see how much is the price here per liter. We can see the price or no? Mogas, Mogas, I don't know what is that Mogas, 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 it's 91, but what is that? Special 239 What is 239? 2.39 ah. Full tank bro We took uh, a little bit like a detour to shorten the trip uh, on the journey So it's a bit off-road uh, going up to the hill and uh, driving a dusty uh, road and uh, that time uh, we are wondering already if this is the place that we will gonna climb because it's sort of like a, like a high mountain already uh, to Oman uh, before we reach to uh, Jabal Shams. Uh, during that journey, one of a member of the team, his uh, car, Xterra, white color, breakdown in the road, overheated. We didn't expect that things uh, could be happen because um, like we thought that all of our cars in a good condition, but you know, in the journey, of the adventure, we'll really never know what's gonna happen. Kare sa akin ba? Ay pumutok yung radiator. Ipat gamit. Yung mga kailangan lang no. Firing. Nato mas firing tayo tonight ta. Rescue! <laughs> dito tatagbo yan. May, towing, may mga towing number ako dito bro. Nakasave. Towing number ba dito sa Oman? 
Buti na lang malaki yung space ng Pajero mo, bay. Malaki yung space na ano eh, no? Mahaba kasi. Bay, to 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 no, to. To no. Ito to. Buti na lang may Marshall tayo dito na off-roaders. <laughs> oh, overheating Overheating situation And we decided just to leave it in the middle of the road It's approximately like around maybe 30 minutes more drive Before we reach to Jebel Shams um, Our friend uh, started to worry because We don't have any like sort of uh, contacts about recovery so that's the reason because this one is so like pag ito pressure too much pressuring happening here so it's crack, cracking it took us like around maybe like around 5 or let's say like 5 hours more or less uh, to reach to Jabal Shams The jump off fine. So we decided just to leave his car uh, on that day. Maybe it's around like four or five in the morning because we reached to the jump off base like around six uh, in the morning. This is it? But this place called by this jump off. The jump off. Huh? This yes. one. It's the trail for W four. Going to Jabal Shams Jabal Shams Summit And we're uh, We're gonna do the, the W4 uh, Trail So this one? Yeah mm -hmm. Interesting Very nice mountain Yeah So When we reached to the uh, Jump up base We started to uh, Prepare our things Very nice Hammockers people <laughs> floating in the air. This will be my tent. Thank you for sponsoring, Anna. Tents. Maybe two to three kg or three kg. <laughs> Additional. <laughs> Setting up. Everyone is busy eating, hammocking. <laughs> Humba. Humba. Uh, the breakfast of the day. Ah, lagi ni, untuk kita nama. Let me explore this place a little bit. Morning, guys. So, we just arrived in this uh, place. It's called the uh, Sunset uh, Resort. Because I think this place is having an amazing uh, sunrise. I think from that side and uh, 
You can see that mountain over there. That's the place we will be starting climbing from the jump base, which we are like saying here right now. Time check, seven in the morning. And I think uh, everyone decided to just sleep for a while and maybe like have a power nap for like around two to three hours, maybe maximum. And just to have an energy because we've been driving all the way from Dubai uh, since last night at around like 8 or 9 in the evening. So let me show you the area. I think that is the sunrise over there. And this is the whole mountain around. And that's the sunrise resort. And that is our jump off area. Some people are having breakfast. Preparing their hammock. Some hikers over there. And this is the 360 angle of the whole place. And and one of my friends uh, told me that there will be a Grand Canyon in this place that will be passing by approximately like around like around six to seven kilometers um, because I think the total kilometers that we'll be hiking till we reach to that like summit is around 24 something kilometers as I've heard from them and yeah so I'm kind of excited to see that Grand Canyon place This is the place, and that's where we enter from the Jeep Road. Um, and we decided just to like uh, maybe sleep for a while because we started driving from UA around 11 p.m. and it's like uh, five to six hours before we reach the Jabal Sham. So everyone is tired, no sleep. Oh, no. Yeah. Hello. Sleeping in ya. to go power for all the pirates out there C4 and the military guy is wondering what is this C4 it's like atomic bomb that's why you know it's C4 so we cook some food we prepare the things that we have to bring time check 9.50 in the morning and this is it Let's go. What about you? Let's go. Let's go. Instruction and guidelines. Enjoy. I ring. I ring. I ring. This is our campsite or jump off base I think everyone is ready firing firing everyone is firing <laughs> all the firings are here yeah man <laughs> head count ano ko sa mga kabing na to nagtitingin na talaga sila kung ano yung nangyayari ah so, ready? Yeah. Ready? Ready, ready. Ready. Which mountain are we going to climb? We will be climbing Jebel Shams. This mountain? Uh, 
this mountain basically. Yeah. That mountain. In that mountain. The one in the clouds, that's the Nerd Summit. And, but Nerd that, Summit. Nerd Summit, yeah. But that Nerd Summit yeah, is being inhabited by the yeah. local military, the radio uh. system of the military here. Uh. So for the civilians, all the personnel, we're only allowed to summit in the south. Mm. So and our trail will be W4. Later on you will be seeing trail signs al along the way. How many trails bro? Uh I don't know how many trails, but they could be if you will see the white, yellow, and red sign, those are the trails. Even at night time it's mm. it's visible. So white means moderate? Uh, no no no. It's a it's a flag. It's kinda like a flag. Mm. Called white, yellow, and red. You will see it along the trail. I think we have some work here right now. <laughs> So, um, see that flag, see that trail sign? That's the yeah. trail sign for double. Ah, okay, red, white, and yellow. Yeah. So that's the one, red, white, and yellow. Yeah. So which uh, color are we going? Uh, that's basically the, 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 the whole color for the whole trail. Ah, okay. Yeah. I thought it's like uh, which level you're gonna no, no, no. choose. <laughs> but the good thing about this uh, mountain is uh, the trails in there all visible. Since we're gonna go put it in the since we're gonna go into the south summit, we'll be using the W4. Mm. Another wadi crossing. Fortunately, there is no water. to remember the date also February 2, 2024 there's <laughs> the first time <laughs> 